Head Harvester Bill Arman here from the West Coast. I'm out here in Louisville, Kentucky at the NLAP conference this year. I just bumped into a really dear friend of mine, Dr. Phil Allen from Brigham Young University. That's BYU up there in Provo. What a great campus. What a great program you have developed over the years. You've got to be awfully proud of all those students out there. So today I want to learn some tips from you for those that are listening out there that want to go out recruiting at some of the colleges. What are students, you said people are changing now, they want different things. What are some of those tips that you would offer us? Right Bill, first it's really great to be in person and see you together and be together and that's part of what makes a great company is we all grow up in a family of some kind and that family is a very important part of who we become, who we rely on when times are tough. Mm -hmm. In today's world, we need more than a family. We need a company that's like a family. And the young people today, whether they're coming from my program or a number of other places, including those that don't go to college, they still want to be part of uh, an important part mm -hmm. of a team. They want to be part of something that's meaningful to them. They want to make a difference in the world and they want to have fun doing it. Have fun? Oh, yeah, Bill. If you're not laughing around the workplace, that means things are probably pretty chaotic and there's not a lot of joy and happiness and that's what these people are they seeing. They have passion and love what exactly. we do, right? Mm -hmm. And that's a lot about to do with culture, right? Uh, absolutely, culture is phenomenally important and it's changing a lot. For example, I said kids want to be part of a team now, young people want to be part of a team. But they don't want to work for you, Bill. They want to work with you. With me? Wow, they do. That, that sounds they want to great. See, they want to feel like they're part of your team and that you're on the same team. And that so you're how do you do that? How, what are some, what, some companies you've seen that done that in a really good way? <laughs> Can I give a bad example first? Oh, give us a bad one. Yeah, okay, go ahead. <laughs> we had a student interning in Texas a couple years ago. She and another intern showed up on the first day of work and went into the front door. They were 15 minutes early and nobody in the office knew that they were going to be there. Oh. It took them 15 minutes to find somebody who knew they were coming. And you only get oh. one chance to make a first impression. Yeah, that and was the that right one. That was not it. Wow, so she showed up early, yeah. they didn't, didn't even know they are going to be there, right. weren't prepped for it, right. no welcoming, mm -hmm. and probably, probably a lack of onboarding, I'm just ga guessing. That, that was the word that was going to come out of my mouth next is, Onboarding is not what it used to be. You can't just say, hey, go with so-and-so, they'll show you the ropes and throw them into the truck. They need to understand your vision, your mission. We talk about mission statements all the time, but if, if that's lived up and down a company, right. that's going to reflect in the culture. And they want to be part of that. Hopefully they are aligned with your vision as an owner or mm -hmm. somebody who's doing the hiring. But that vision is very important. They want to feel like they're engaged early on. And that onboarding is so important because they have not often had a lot of life experience, young people. And so they're out there. They, they want to succeed, but they want somebody that they can go to. They want to be able to get their questions answered. So maybe a buddy system, oh, onboarding, a mentor, yeah, a mentor exactly. coach, exactly. Um, joy all around, have some fun, yep. make some make some fun, have some good times, some, maybe some breaking bread together, uh, meals, right. celebration, listening, engaging them. Mm -hmm. Those are all pretty good tips. Any other final tips you have for us? I think we need to all share the passion that this is a great career and remains a great career. Of course things are changing. A lot more with technology coming along and the young people can help in that area really, really well. Better than us old guys who sometimes have a hard time getting our smartphones to do smart we're not, things. We're not smart enough with those smartphones, are we? <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> well, this is Head Harvester Bill Arman from Westco, and I really want to thank you, Dr. Phil. Okay. It's always a pleasure to see you, my friend. Great to see you That's a well. great part of what this industry is all about, is forming relationships and friendships that last decades. It's been 30 years with this guy. It's been a great pleasure. It has. Thank Thanks, you, Dr. Bill. Phil. Take care. Okay.